Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today I have my very first Premier Arms scope uh, for review. This is the SLX, which is the 1 in 6x24, and it is a first focal plane with the Premier Arms very, very awesome reticle, the ACSS, which is right here. Alright, so let's go and unbox this and uh, see what we get. of sorts, and cloth, take this out of the bag, this side. and here is the scope. Before uh, I really get into this review, just in case people who don't stay to the end, uh, the link in the description, if you do click on it, you do get a free Primary Arms $50 mount with your order. Um, so yeah, just uh, throw that out there. Okay, so let's dive on in and let's take a, a close look at this optic. Um, it is marked here with the primary arms on the side. Starting the back, it does come with flip up covers, which is nice, front and rear. Very positive. The overall length of this is about 10.6 inches. On the back here, you have the diopter, which is actually very smooth. Not too stiff, very nice. And then moving forward, you will see the throw lever here. It's actually inbuilt, so it's got like kind of a little cattail here, which is I really I really like this because there's nothing more frustrating for me is like when I buy, you know, uh, an optic uh, like a like a rifle scope, and then it doesn't have the cattail built in, and then you got to go and buy a switch throw lever or whatever, and it's you know another 50, 60 bucks. So it's very nice that's included. The rotation is very smooth. It's not too not too firm again it, it's it's not it's not like super loose but it does take a little bit of pressure so you're not going to actually you shouldn't really accidentally knock this um, out of place very nice um, we do have the windows and elevation uh, turrets are capped which it, again is a nice feature oh and i just noticed it does have a spare battery inside of this cap which is a cr2032 uh, which goes in here so this is a spare one that comes um so that's kind of a that's kind of nice because you know the uh, battery life with um, these kind of scopes is not very long. You know anywhere from like two to four hundred hours. And if you go to the range or if you go out shooting and then you leave it on, chances are when you go back in a week or two time, your battery's going to be dead. So it's nice to have a spare one. Um, so the adjustments. Let's have a listen here. Very tactile, very audible, very very nice. And these are quarter inch adjustments, quarter MMA. That's very, very nice. Let's have a look at the other side here. Yep, just the same as you'd expect. Very nice. Uh, obviously, on the left side, we have the illumination settings. And it has 11 illumination settings. These are, it's not quite daylight bright on max setting, um, 11 on the out, outside. Um, you can notice it when it's on, but it's not like a red dot. It's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not like really bright. <clears throat> it's kind of dull in the bright settings, uh, excuse me, on the bright day. Uh, if you're using this in low light, you'll be just fine, but it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not a red dot bright. And then obviously to take out the battery, if you just put your thumb down, see there's kind of a separation here, just put your thumb down on this adjustment and then turn this one and unscrew it. And there's your CR2032 battery already installed. Okay, so I did mention that this is a first focal plane and for, <clears throat> excuse me, for people who might not understand what first and second focal plane is, first focal plane, when you look through the uh, the, the, the scope, you're going to see a much smaller version of this reticle. Um, and, it, and when you look through it, so you'll see that. And then when you start to zoom in, the reticle gets bigger and bigger. And um, it, you, so you get to see this whole image and you can get to see the drop downs and things like that. So on one X, being smaller is really good because it acts almost kind of like a, a red dot of sorts, you know. And then as you start um, dialing out, um, this comes in a lot closer so you can see it and it makes those uh, targets a lot easier to hit because you'll be able to see this with the adjustments and this is a fantastic reticle um, So that's what first focal plane is second focal plane is you'll see a reticle say we just see this reticle 
at 1x and then even when you zoom all the way to 6x the reticle size doesn't change it stays the same that's what the second focal plane is all right <clears throat> so we're moving on these scopes i know people are going to ask about it they are made in china okay so let's move on to the the glass because obviously that's what everyone's going to be interested in um the glass on this i was very surprised I honestly, and I don't mean any disrespect to primary arms, but a $400 scope, um, I was wondering how good the glass would actually be. And I'm very pleased to say it was, it is actually very, very good. Um, especially, especially at this price point, you know, this is a $400 scope. Um, you're talking, uh, if you know, if you were, you know, if you compared to like a Vortex Strike Eagle, the glass is much better. Um, it, you know, obviously for, for this price range, it's very, very good. I was very pleasantly surprised and it matched with that ACSS reticle. Um, yeah, it's very, very good. So, um, yeah, glass I'm, I'm definitely happy with and, and, uh, I've had no real complaints, um, about the glass on, on this at all. Uh, moving along, as I say, if you use the link below, you do get this free mount that does come with it. It's a 30 millimeter, um, mount. Obviously this is a 30 millimeter tube and it has the bolts to to bolt it on it's not obviously qd but um i think that with a rifle scope i don't i mean i guess it's nice to be able to take it off quickly but so when you see me when you see the video um through the actual rifle scope uh, i'm using this this product called uh, phone scope um, i'm trying to improve the the video quality for you guys um so it's been really cool, it just attaches onto here at the end. You put your cell phone in here and then you attach it here and uh, you can record. So for me, it's, I'm using it just for reviews, but <clears throat> excuse me, you can, if you're a hunter or something like that and you want to record um, your shooting, you know, your kill shots or whatever, um, this could be a great option if you want to record uh, record that. So yeah, it's been, it's been pretty good. So that's what I'm, uh, so I'm using to video through the rifle scope. I'll show you some footage through the rifle scope. The video quality does not reflect how clear the glass is on this Raptor. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why it's not coming out as, as clear as it should be, but it gives you a good idea on the zoom, the reticle, uh, the illumination and so forth. Just trust me that the glass quality is a lot better than you'll see in the video. All right, here we go.
So uh, moving on, so as I said, if you use the link below uh, and you purchase this, uh, you will be able to get this um, 30 millimeter uh, mount from PSA for free with your order. And it's just, it just attaches with these bolts here. It's not, obviously not a QD one, but it's still a nice mount. Uh, the construction seems really nice and it's free. Uh, $50 mount free, very, very nice. So thank you uh, Primary Arms for offering that to our viewers, uh, much appreciated. Um, overall, uh, oh, and then um, Primary Arms does come with a lifetime warranty also. So if you ever have any problems, just hit them up and they'll take care of you. Um, no questions asked. So yeah, um, my overall thoughts, um, I'm very impressed. Um, I think it's, for the money, I think it's a really, really good scope. I, I would buy this uh, over the Vortex Strike Eagles, uh, 100%. You know, the Vortex, I, I don't have a problem with Vortex. I like the company, I like their VIP warranty. Um, but you know, you can pick up the one in six uh, Strike Eagle for probably 300 bucks, but I would pay the extra 100 and pick up the primary arms um, with, with amount for 400. And yeah, I think you'd be much happier with this. I think it's got a better reticle and the glass is a lot nicer. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, just a quick review. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out if I can. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me out and I appreciate it. And uh, that's it. Until next time, folks, I'll catch you later.